fault lines in Indigo Airlines boardroom. Sources tell ET now the differences have cropped up between the founders Rahul Bhatia and Rakesh Gangwar. ET now learns that the feud is over. Gangwar actually taking great executive control in the airline. Both the sides have hired law firms to iron out differences. Let's go across to Nantara Rai for more details. Nantara. This is a mega ET9 exclusive, the two gentlemen that came together to uh, you know, launch India's biggest airline, its most profitable airline with over a 40% market share, seem to have fallen out. They seem to have differences that they need to uh, figure out uh, through, in fact, uh, so much so that they've gone to law firms. So the two gentlemen, the two promoter groups, which have pretty much an equal amount of equity in Indigo Airlines, are uh, running into turbulence. Uh, so you have Rahul Bhatia as well as Rakesh Gangwal, the two promoters, the two promoter groups that launched Indigo Airlines. Uh, falling out with one camp, that's the Rahul Bhatia camp, believing and being of the view that maybe the other promoter group is looking to wrest control, is taking more of an executive control at Indigo Airlines. Uh, the reason for that perhaps is also the slew of senior management appointees that have taken place in the recent past. Look no further than the new CEO, uh, Rana Joy Banerjee, who has worked in the past with uh, uh, Rakesh Gangwal in the United States. Now, Rakesh Gangwal continues to reside in the United States. He's an old aviation veteran. He's the one who had brought his aviation expertise uh, to Indigo. Uh, he ran United Airlines. He ran American Airlines. And it was around that time when he had met with uh, bon uh, uh, Banerjee, the current uh, CEO, who was incidentally heading United during the 9-11 crisis. But this is bad news that is coming in uh, from an aviation perspective, which is going through such a rough weather, such a large turbulence. You have the two promoter groups of India's most successful airline falling out. I don't want to panic the markets over here. Yes, the promoters have differences that they're trying to uh, iron out. They've hired two law firms. So I have been told that uh, Rahul Bhatia has engaged JSA, whereas uh, Rakesh Gangwal has hired Khaitan and company. Thank you, Nantara, for getting us those exclusive details. Let's also listen in to the reactions of Sandeep Parekh as well as Mohit Saraf on the differences between the Indigo promoters. You know, many of these uh, kind of partnerships which have been uh, born at times where, you know, the, the airline was pretty much nothing uh, are based on mutual understandings and not based on agreements, uh, especially when two, two persons are friends. So uh, those obviously al almost always cause friction, which is not easily resolvable because when you have a regular shareholders agreement, I think uh, people kind of, uh, go through mediation or or, or through arbitration uh, in a kind of a regular process. But uh, when you have kind of unwritten rules which have been uh, put in and you have such large stakes, you you told me it's 75 percent together, uh, and and so together kind of they they can pretty much control everything in the com company. So I think it's uh, it's one of those difficult. It's it's like a um, there was proceeding very very painful, very difficult. Nothing is written down and uh, it kind of ends up in uh, all kinds of much slinging. So um, it could be painful if they've not documented through a shareholder agreement what the rights and duties are. But I completely agree with um, Moet's perspective on what we said. Yeah, it does happen. It happens regularly in com companies. You are two partners, maybe equal stakes, but uh, some partner is more active in business, other partner partner may be active in other things, government relationships and things like that. So there is a possibility that one partner may feel left out or may feel a little disturbed. That sometimes does escalate into big issues. But generally, I would say these issues should be resolved quite easily because I think what you rightly said is that this company is one of the very, I would say, absolutely a company which has grown from almost nothing to one of the large, uh, the, the largest airline in India and therefore the stakes are high for both part promoters and therefore I, I would typically expect that in the shareholder agreement they would have typical rights where they can buy each other, exit possibility or there could also be a position, uh, there could be a provision about deadlock resolution. Some of these things should be there. I don't know what level of dispute there is or what level of deadlock there is. But these type of things can happen, I think, uh, again. 
but but typically shareholder agreements does have these rights and exit rights or 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 a, or a process to resolve disputes and we need to see and particularly since we are not acting either for the two promoters or for the company so we have really no access and understanding what really is the dispute if there is any and how they can resolve it